feels like a decent fish. They're all decent, right? <laughs> I mean, they're all fun. They're all fun to catch. We're just wrecking them today. Great walleye bite I'm on right now. Got that one a little tangled up in my transducer. We'll get him though. There we go. Come here. Look at that. Great eater size walleye. That's an awesome fish right there. You know, no matter where you go, that's awesome right there. But here's the thing. You know, there's two things that I think go into finding fish like that and to catching them. And that is, one, you got to find the spots. If you can't find the spots, if you don't get dialed in on those spots and find them, you're never going to catch fish. And I think for the most part that when I talk to people, the biggest challenge they have is finding those spots that hold fish like this. It's not necessarily catching them upon finding them. It's finding them. And fish like that right there, I'm going to let this guy go because we're catching plenty of fish here this afternoon. And no reason to keep any more than I need. But here's the thing. you got to be able to find these fish. And there's a way I do that. You know, some of it, some of it's experience. Some of it's just years of fishing and, and having some gut feelings. But the number one most important piece that I have is my Humminbird Helix 7. And here's why. That Helix 7, right now, I'm running it in a split screen. I'm running a flasher on one side, and I'm running a 2D sonar on the other. And it tells me everything I need to know while I'm fishing. I know exactly what those fish are doing. I can see a history of my jigging. I can see a history of how fish are reacting. I can see fish separated even when they're tight to the bottom. I can see how many fish are down there. This thing does all of that for me. It's a phenomenal unit and it's doing it all in real time. I mean, when I see a fish coming up, I can usually anticipate the bite. It's that tight when it comes to speed and time. It's, it's a phenomenal unit. But let's go back to how did I find this spot? You know, the development of mapping systems has been just phenomenal. It's changed how we all fish. But the leader, the best, the first was Lake Master. And Lake Master is only available in Humminbird units. And it is still the best today. I mean, ultimately, when it comes down to mapping, I see things and I can pick areas like I'm on right here. And right here, what I'm on, incidentally, I'm on the tip of a reef. But because it shows these contour lines in high definition, I know exactly where the little flat spots are. I know exactly where the little bumps are. I know the little things that hold fish. For years, we heard about spot on the spot. Well, let me tell you what spot on spot is. Spot on spot is those little feeding shells. It's those little extra humps. It's those little extra boulders, or it's those little gravel deposits. In the old days, we couldn't see those. Nowadays, we can see all of that because Lake Master has found every little thing. I'll, I'll tell you incidentally, for a long time, I helped Lake Master do some mapping. And I know how precise these maps are because we went out and found all of these little things. While we were running the maps, when you found something little, you ran extra detail over it to make sure that it was perfect. And that's how I found this spot today. I'm not, I'm not sitting on anything that you can't find on your own. This is just a feeding shelf at the end of a, a tip that comes out off of an island. And this reef is just loaded with fish on this tip because there's a little flat spot. And if you can find those spots, let me tell you something you can catch fish that you never even knew existed. So that's why I use the Humminbird Helix 7 because not only can I see all the fish, not only can I have a flasher mode and a 2D mode in a split screen when I'm ice fishing, but I also have the greatest mapping. And by the way, when I jump on that snowmobile and head for home tonight, that thing's gonna be sitting right in between my legs. I'm able to look down at it and see my track all the way home. I got a 15 mile ride and I'll probably do it after dark because I'm gonna stay for prime time and I can follow that GPS unit all the way home. You can't beat a Humminbird Ice Helix 7. It is the best unit on the market. Doggone it, if you're looking at a new unit this year, look at these because they are the best.